Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I would do this video as I'm as I'm reading through this this article. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. You got you guys need to check out this article. It's called How It Feels to Learn JavaScript in 2016. And this is so dang accurate that I, I just can't believe it. I I meant to just scan this article, but I ended up reading through this whole thing. I, I highly recommend that you check it out. You can check out I'll put a link to it here and you can can see but i'm sure this article has exploded all over hacker news but you can go through here and 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 read this as, as it just delves into so much stuff i mean half of this stuff i don't i don't even have a clue about i mean half of it i do i was surprised i i knew about it. i picked it up but man a lot of stuff right and this is you know the reason why i'm bringing this up and you know this is this is funny but but it's it's actually quite true right i mean if you really know your your shit you, you're you're gonna say oh yeah this is pretty accurate this is exactly what you, you need to know this kind of stuff to really be a top web developer today and that's freaking over overwhelming right so the reason why i brought this up and you know you can you can read through this article on your own, it, it is pretty funny. But the reason why I brought this up is because here's the thing, like we have reached this point of super complexity, right? I mean, this is the reason why I started Simple Programmer in the first place, right? Simple Programmer was designed to make the complex simple, was, was to take the stuff that, that people are making so dang complicated and just condense it down and make it really, really simple so we can understand the stuff. Because software development at its heart, at its root, is not complicated it shouldn't be so complicated it's not that complicated right i mean there's there's definitely it's not it's not you know trivial okay but it can be simple and we have to strive to continually come back to simplicity because the more stuff that we pile up and the more stuff we pile up on on top of each other the the more difficult it becomes for anyone to to master to understand whatever the technology is and to, to actually work in it. And then what ends up happening is that we, we sort of forget our history, right? Because the thing is like, if you go through this, this, this article and I encourage you to do it, if you don't know all of this stuff, right? There's a lot of reasoning behind why things are done, right? If you talk to someone who's really, really good JavaScript developer today, they know all this stuff, right? They would give you this, they would have this, you can imagine having this conversation with that person and you, you don't, like if you don't know that, right, you don't understand why they're doing the kind of magic voodoo stuff that they're doing when they're writing code. And it makes sense, right? It is too complex. But what ends up happening is that if you don't know all that, what do you do? You reinvent the wheel. You try to solve problems that have already been solved because you don't know that they're solved. And there's just so much surface area out there that you can't know all this stuff, right? And plus the, the time it takes to go from beginner to expert level and learn all this stuff and, and things are shifting the whole time, you, you've, you, you're, you're not making forward progress. You're not pushing things actually forward. You're just using this stuff. So we've kind of hit this point, you know, in society where, where we've, we've found the point, and I mean, this could be a different video, but, but I'll mention it briefly, where we, we found the idea, the excessive ability to share ideas and to communicate. We, our communication has become too good, right? It's, it's become to this point where it's actually become a hindrance for us. It actually hurts us. It harms us that we can communicate so rapidly and that we can collaborate so rapidly, right? At some point, it's a benefit, but at another point, it becomes a, a, an extreme harm. And we see that in, in the politics and the divisiveness of of the world of in the United States, our country, we see that in in the case of of proliferation of of JavaScript frameworks, right, and and all the, this stuff, because these ideas don't have enough time to bake individually before they get into the group mind and the group think, and then spread around, and then so many people are spinning off and, and doing these things. Whereas before, we used to have things percolate. For a little bit longer and then you know some someone would would come down from the <laughs> the oracle would come down running down from the tower and say i have it here it is this is the new way that we are going to do development we're going to do agile development and this is what we've decided you know that we convened the the master group of of <laughs> of software developers and designers and this is what we came up with and here you go now the masses can use this thing and you know there's definitely pros and cons to that but you know i think it's important to just understand what's going on here 
And I would push, you know, for, I've talked about this before. We, what we've got to do is we've got to take this stuff, okay? And we've got to create solid abstractions. You know, to some degree, we have to reset the board. We have to take what we've learned. And so really what it's up to is it's up to these people that actually understand this. Someone that reads this article and is like, yep, I got all that. And he missed this. This is what you really need to do. Those kind of people, if you're one of those people, what one of the things that you can do in order to really advance the state of where we're at is, is to crunch things down and simplify them down as much as possible, to take that knowledge and to develop new technologies and new tools or new languages that that create solid abstractions that are not leaky abstractions, right? So that we can start programming at a new level and not have to incorporate and know all of this stuff that, that we don't have to know. Just like, you know, abstractions are important because abstractions are the way that we advance as a civilization. Abstractions are the way that we advance intellectually as a civilization because we build upon the existing things without knowing their underlying structure. And we can only keep so much in our head, right? So we can't know. I mean, if we didn't have abstractions, right, we would not be able to program. We'd have to if you didn't have abstractions, in order to be a programmer, you would have to understand everything that's happening inside the CPU at that level and how to program in, you know, how binary machine language is working inside your computer and how to assembly language, how to create assembly language, which you may know some of that stuff, but you'd have to know all of that stuff, bam, 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 everything that's stacked on top, how the OS is slicing and virtualizing things. And, and you may know some of that stuff from computer science, but you'd have to know an in-depth knowledge and all of these these things that are piled up, right? I mean, you wouldn't be able to drive a car if we didn't have an abstraction that is the steering wheel and the gas pedal and stuff. And you had to know how the engine and transmission and all this stuff works. So abstractions make it so that we don't have to think about those lower levels and those lower layers. And we can just work in what, you know, a nicely paved over environment that that makes it simpler for our mind and so we, we've gotten to this point where we, we don't have enough abstractions especially in the javascript and in the web development world it's gotten insane and we need to come back to a place of sanity where we have a solid level of abstraction layer that is not a leaky abstraction where you don't have to understand the the, the underlying stuff and you can just you can start from there and, and i think that you know we, we're just seeing this this is one of the consequences, uh, again, of that communication and collaboration being so easy is that we just have this proliferation of ideas and people going off and working on things. We don't have organization in, in order to, to handle this, in order to, to decrease complexity, because as, as complexity keeps increasing like this, it, it's not very productive, right? I mean, people go off in wrong directions and do, do the wrong thing because they don't understand it all. People reinvent the wheel. People uh, don't you know, spend a, an or, inordinate amount of time learning this stuff only to get to that expert level and just to barely move the needle forward because there's so much of a mental burden that's required in, in order to get there. And so I, I think we advance, you know, the, the, the clearest way that we advance is through abstractions and simplicity. So, and, they, and they're really the same thing to, to create something simple is to create an abstraction that makes it easier to make it so there's less cognitive load to to grasp the, the concept and to be able to work in that environment so this is a, just an interesting article that that really points it out you know if you are a beginner <laughs> uh, i wish i could offer you some great advice here but you know what can I, what can I, what can I tell you if you're a beginner and you're doing web development and you you need to learn javascript right now the, the best advice i could give you is to try and find someone who is who knows it and who's doing it really well and who knows what the current cutting edge right thing to use right down to the very end of this conversation and t and ask them what should i use and what should i do okay and so that you don't have to understand so they will effectively operate as an abstraction for you right now the problem is that it's a leaky abstraction the problem is is that that like the, the, it's it, it's leaky. What I mean is that you, you can't just pave over. You you can you know you can get that best 
guidance from that person, but not understanding the underlying stuff is going to bite you in the ass right now. And that's, that's how it is. But that's where I would start. And I would start for, like not understanding it. I would just start modeling them, right? As, as Tony Robbins would say, but I, and not understanding the underlying stuff, but but being able to be productive and, and to get it and then just, just, just go back and start researching and, and go back and start asking the questions, why? Well, why do we do this? Why do we do that? In, instead of, th then, then you can sort of not have to spend four years understanding all of the stuff, but you, you can get going. You can kind of trust them that, that, you know, you don't understand why we're doing things this way, but that's okay because that's how they're done. And if this person is reliable and they understand all the stuff in this article, you know that they know that they have good reasons for, for doing this stuff. And this is where we've arrived and there's a reason for it. And then, like I said, you can go back and you can ask the questions, but it's it's a bad place to be right now. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's a bad place to be. But there's opportunity when there's a bad place, you know, if if you can if you can figure this out. But I am hoping, right, that in the next couple of years, we start to see a lot of this junk. I mean, there's so much proliferation. It's not just in JavaScript, right? There's so many programming languages coming out and libraries and all of this stuff. We need to really collapse this stuff down. I, I'm actually in favor of a single single programming language or maybe just a couple where like let's not you know let's not proliferate these ideas. Let, let's try to and focus the energy and focus this collaboration down one path, right? And and this is this is so weird because I hate the idea of of you know design by committee and, and stuff like that because it, it's it's usually so bad but but now we see the the opposite of that right where we have this ridiculous you know craziness and and we have this ridiculous proliferation and now we see why to some degree you know i don't want to go completely designed by committee right where we slow things down and it's too slow but there's got to be a balance and we're we're you know I've talked about this a lot of times. I can't think of, I think I did a video. Maybe we can find the one where I, where I talk about pendulum effect of, of software development and how we, we advance, but we, we always come back, right? We always go back and forth. And so we go from one extreme to the other. Right now, we are in the extreme of extreme proliferation and not designed by committee. And we need, we need to kind of find that middle where, we're, where we've got a balance where we don't have this kind of crazy shit. Because this is, this is like ridiculously crazy. Like read this article and, and you'll, you'll see the state of the union of, of JavaScript, of technology in general. And that's, it, it's, it's a bad place to be because it, it really does stifle true innovation. We're just, we're just rearranging the friggin' Lego blocks and we're not really moving the ball forward because we have so many damn Lego blocks. There's so much cognitive load that we're not coming up with novel new ideas. We're not inventing new and better things really. I mean, you know, some people are like, oh shit, React.js is the greatest friggin' thing ever. And I love React.js, it's an awesome idea, but it's really not that revolutionary, right? We need to really, you know, get to the next level here. And we're not gonna do that when we have this proliferation of JavaScript frameworks and ideas and we, we, we can't condense this down and, and focus in one direction like a friggin' laser beam. Anyway, this is basically a rant video. <laughs> about this. I think I'm going to release this pretty quickly here because uh, while this while this article circulating around, but I, I encourage you to check it out. It's it's an interesting read. And, and if you're starting out as a web developer, try not to be too discouraged. Just, just do what you can, you know, try to learn what you can. Don't try to learn it all, you know, figure out a, a, a thing that you can develop a path. Like I said, a, a particular stack framework, you know, and and don't worry if you're if you're doing it perfectly. Just just try to emulate and model someone who who is doing who is up to date, who knows all this stuff, and that's going to be your best place to start right now. It it just sucks right now. I'm I'm just going to tell you, it, it it just frankly does. But you can do it, right? There's there's people that are that are doing this, but uh, yeah, there there you go. All right. So anyway, if you damn it, I almost didn't say anyway. I'm gonna have to untrain my train myself to not say anyway. But if you like this video, I do have a request for you. Click the subscribe button below. Maybe, maybe, you know, in this crazy world of JavaScript proliferation, that if you subscribe to my videos, I can help you find your true inner peace and not worry about all of this shit. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.